Hi friends, in today's video let us understand how to create a function procedure in VBA. We have so many predefined functions in Excel like uh, VLOOKUP, we have VLOOKUP or uh, like SUM etc. So these are all uh, predefined functions. Also we can create UDFs that means user defined functions that is what I am going to do now. I am creating a function procedure for a nested if formula so that I can use that function instead of a long nested if formula. So the purpose of making this video is to make sure that this video helps you to create more interest in using VBA in Excel. So at first let us look at an example. I have 12 months data or rather 12 months. I wanted to tag each month to a quarter name like April, May, June is equal to Q1, July, August, September is Q2, October, November, December and Q3 and so on. So let us create a formula first and then see how a nested if formula is created manually and then use the same logic in a VBA function rather in a VBA procedure to see how easy to create a VBA procedure rather a function procedure than writing a long nested if formula. Now let us uh, create the excel formula first. So the formula is there like this. If month is equal to either April or May or June, it should be Q1 and month is equal to either July or August or September, it should be Q2. So I need to use the R condition here. So I need to have three multiple uh, options. So for uh, any one of the options, any option for any option so either or kind of condition I need to use Q1 so R so here it is uh, A3 is equal to um, April again the second logic is A3 is equal to May and third option third logic is uh, A3 is equal to Zoom so if it is if any one of these are the month is equal to any one of these then it should be q1 so that way i have created a uh, full set of formula so all four nested levels so if month either april or may or june it is q1 if month either july august or september it is q2 and so on so, creating a nested formula is not so easy. You need to make sure that uh, the quotes are properly being maintained and uh, the parentheses are so properly being closed. Otherwise, it will uh, keep on giving errors and we need to make sure that every error has been rectified at the time of creating the formula. So, if we wanted to do this in Excel VBA, how we wanted to do? Let us see. Now, uh, anyway, the result is Q1. And let us see other results. So obviously this formula is working perfect, but I wanted to create a function procedure so that that will be uh, more useful. So obviously uh, we need to go to VBA procedure or VBA window. We need to say Alt F11 and then insert, go to module, some other codes are there, that's a different thing. And then yeah let me keep them as a cascade mode so that we can see one by one yeah now what I have to write obviously I'm creating a function procedure so I'm saying function but what exactly to be appearing like so normally what uh, we write while writing a VLOOKUP, so VLOOKUP, so this is the procedure's name, the function procedure's, procedure's name is VLOOKUP, so I am writing function and I wanted to write as the procedure name as quarter because I wanted to know the quarter name, quarter and when you write a function procedure like if you write a VLOOKUP, you give some details. So you will give a lookup value, table array, etc. And also if you do a sum, you give a range. 
number one, number two. You will give one range. In the same way, I need to understand the quarter name from a month. So obviously, if I say quarter, if I write like this, I select a month. So obviously, I need to select the month name. So here, I need to write as month. So function quarter month. Now, I'm using multiple conditions. So to use multiple conditions, you need to uh, create a uh, statement. Obviously, when uh, you are going to uh, any subprocess also, before getting into any kind of uh, variables, you declare a variable and then you give the value to the variable. In that way, you need to give a condition here. So if it is either it is April or May or June, you have to make sure that that should be Q1. So I'm writing select case month. So I'm actually creating a case. Case is nothing but if it's kind of if statement and select case month. So I'm selecting a case statement and then case April, May, June, sorry. I need to make sure that the quotes are properly being placed, otherwise the code will throw an error. Quarter is equal to Q1. So now let me see whether this example is working in my Excel or not. So since I've selected the case month, I need to end select. Basically it's a loop. Now I'm just going to the formula quarter yeah this quarter function has been created and if i select q1 sorry april it's coming as q1 but it will work only for april may june because you have not completed the procedure at so now simply just copy these statements paste down change the values like april to uh, july and then august september And then this to Q2 and again go to uh, create I mean, paste another uh, set of statements like uh, this let it be October November December and it will be Q3 and then another set paste it this is Jan, Feb, and then March. Maybe writing this uh, is looking like little uh, tougher or maybe if you are not convenient, I rather ask you to practice it because this function procedure will help you to understand more many many more uh, function procedures and you will know how it how the VBA code behaves and how we can create uh, more uh, macros in uh, Excel. So this video is majorly to make sure that creating interest within you to use VBA more. Now let us see. So I have created a function quarter with the month selection select case month. I have given what are the cases and what are the quarter should be and then I am and select I'm selecting the I'm closing the loop and then let us see what happens same whatever my nested formula is giving the value the same value as is coming from the function processor but this function processor is very easy I need not make uh, more uh, nesting levels here but creating a function will help you to do more uh, what you call experiments in VBA instead of in Excel and you can see, um, uh, think in a very uh, constructive way and create more VBA codes. Coming videos, I'm going to make more uh, videos on function procedures and I'll create more functions. And I will give some examples like uh, how a sum procedure, sum, some function can be created on your own. And then accordingly, instead of writing sum, you can write your own function in UDF and uh, get the value of sum etc. I'm going to uh, post those videos. So as usual, please practice, 
that is more important and uh, like my videos share my videos and subscribe to my channel so that you'll get updates on a regular basis thank you